A while back I mentioned I was going to test these radar lamps to see if they interact with each other, and I ordered three identical lamps from one supplier. Well, from one eBay listing. And these are supposed to be 5 watt lamps. Uh, I should test that, shouldn't I? Yes, I will test it. But um, to operate the test, I was going to put the, the lamps into this three-way adapter, which is a standard British bayonet cap adapter. You can get them in Edison screw as well, to the Edison screw sockets. Worth mentioning with these that uh, because this can go in any way around, the requirement in the UK is that this uh, meta outer ring is at neutral potential in permanent installations and general installations. And unfortunately, because this can go in either way around, that can be at live potential. And just remember that when you're, you're screwing lamps in, it should really be, the power should be off. Also, when you screw these in, the metal work, work is touchable. I just thought I'd mention those things because they all matter if, if you want to avoid getting tingles. <clears throat> but anyway, I stuck them all in. And I knew they had light sensors, the little LDRs in them, and I wanted to see what happened. And what actually happened is that when the cluster of three, whichever one triggered first, it started emitting light, the others all saw the light and decided not to trigger. So it was like Russian roulette. When you walked in, one of the three lamps would light. So I knew that was going to happen, and uh, I cut out the LDRs. Now, this is an, a handy little trick. Uh, when you open up, you'll see there's little pads, and the LDR will just sit in a corner, pretty much like that. And all you have to do is get your snips and just gently go in and just cut it out with the power off, with the lamp unplugged. This has a, a couple of advantages when you do that. Uh, in this case, it means that the lamp will just operate, you know, it will sense 24-7. It won't uh, sense light at all. As far as it's concerned, now the LDR is gone, it's very, very dark and it's going to light every time it senses movement. This also means that uh, when these are in a room, instead of doing that really annoying thing where they light... And then after the pre prescribed time delay, because they're actually seeing the light in their own sensor, they will then go out and then re-trigger again. Because you've removed the LDR and it thinks it's dark all the time, uh, they'll just re-trigger all the time. So as you walk about in the room, it'll just keep re-triggering keep re the timer internally and the lamps will stay on. All jolly good. So um, I would like to pull this out and take a look for, at the driver. I am guessing it's a standard switch mode driver in these from the layout of the circuitry. But uh, these are wedged in so tight that uh, I think it may damage the... Uh, circuit boards if I try and lever them out. It's, they really have been wedged in a sort of ratchet sort of way that it's clicked in really hard. But that's no great deal. We kind of know what the, these drivers tend to look like. However, what we don't know is they do say 5 watt on the side. 5 watt LED, AC, 220 volt, and then I think this is the date. 1611? Could that be 11th of the month of 2016? Probably. So Let's get the uh, power meter in. set that to power, and I'll plug one of these lamps. Keep in mind it's not going to sense light now, so uh, it will just light when it triggers. There'll be a sort of stabilisation period though. So it's drawing virtually nothing until it triggers, triggers, and draws 2.9 watts. So it's a 3 watt driver. Okay, so not 5 watt after all. No great surprises there. It's Closer than usual though, at least it's more than half what it said. And if anything, the lower power, as I say, makes these last longer. So what's the range of LEDs, isn't it? It's got a little bus bar in the middle and a little bus bar around the outside and they're wired as clusters of three, so that is a generic uh, three LED driver, probably just putting out 12 volts and that's what the circuitry will be driving, it's five volt from that as well. But that's not what this test is about. This test is about seeing whether these all trigger each other. So let's get them into the adapter and then I'm going to go and plug them in and see what happens trying not to move anywhere near the room I have to observe this now without going too near the room and actually triggering them so uh, let's go and take a look and see how it works so it does appear that they don't interact with each other I've been watching them for quite a time and it's only when there's movement that they'll actually trigger. And when you do start moving, like I'm about to move now, well, that was just me moving my leg and they all triggered. But depending on, as you approach the room, if you're outside, they will just trigger one by one, completely independently. And when they do that triggering one by one, they go off one by one after their time delay as well, if you, if you stay still, like that. So let's see if I can just trigger just one... Oh, I've triggered two of them. Is that one or two? Uh, that's two of them are triggered. And the third? Yeah. 
there it goes. So yeah, they don't seem to interact with each other. You can use them in the same room, um, and they will still operate independently. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Okay, now I've done the test, I can open one, and rather predictably, it's the generic 3-watt driver, the one that we see in so many of these products. With a double-sided pad, stick it into the back, and then the standard pink and white leads come up to the circuit board, which has the schmoothing capacitor. Uh, it's got the little voltage regulator, it's got an 8-pin version of the passive infrared detection chip, which says EG. 4002C and that it's pretty much what you'd expect. Uh, the radar detection is once again based around the generic little uh, radar transistor here, uh, this sort of radio frequency transistor and the usual arrangement of the tracks zigzagging the circuit board. It's so, it's so neat. It's just totally kind of just taken over from the passer and Fred. I mean, each has its own merits, but um, it's just interesting the way it's just suddenly happened like this. So what's that capacitor rated at? That's a uh, 220 meg fired, 35 volt. Pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. Yeah, nice little lamps.